you say that dressing rooms are one of Macy's only tools to compete with Amazon. How come? You know, I don't think it's one of their only tools, but the, to, the ability to leverage their store base really differentiates them from the majority of e-commerce players. They have over 900 stores, and so the easier they make it to get the product to the customer as quickly as possible is going to give them an edge. But there are other tools that they're operating. Um, one is differentiating their product, and another is also curating the product for the consumer. Uh, Lindsay, maybe you can explain a little bit more what we're talking about exactly here. What is a virtual dressing room? Well, Macy's dressing rooms are very real, and um, what's more virtual is sort of the selling floor. So you're walking through and you're looking at mannequins that are wearing these bathing suits, and you can say, oh, I like that suit. Tap it with your smartphone, and it'll send a message to someone which will send the bathing suit into your fitting room. So you can, you know, more easily select a lot of items without hauling them off to the fitting room. And then once you're there, you know, we've all had that experience where you're putting on the bathing suit. Oh, it doesn't fit. I need the next size. You have to get dressed again go back out this eliminates that you can select a new size or a new color on a on a tablet that's in the fitting room so they're thinking oh it'll be a smoother experience for the customer they'll want to buy more yeah I've tried that I'm not totally sold yet uh, Bridget back to you for a second from Macy's perspective is amazon.com really direct competition it is. I think Amazon is really making strides to grow their presence in the apparel sector, and they've got the scale to make themselves very attractive to apparel wholesalers. So I think you will see the number of brands offered on Amazon growing over the next couple years. Uh, yeah, you know, I actually gave this a little test uh, before we went on air. I didn't realize you can buy things like a DVF dress on Amazon.com. Uh, so I saw a note. And I think a lot of people don't know that yet. So, I, you know, I think that they'll start to market that a bit more and that'll only increase the number of brands that they have. Uh, so Cowan put out a note recently saying that Macy's will actually uh, replace, or excuse me, Amazon will replace Macy's as the number one online fashion retailer. Is that really realistic, Lindsay? Well, you know, it's possible. I mean, right now, mostly people are buying kind of staples that they don't need to try on on Amazon. But as they're gaining more brands, you know, it's a lot easier to order from Amazon, free two-day shipping, try it on at home. Some people might not want to go to the store. So, you know, it's, it's definitely a contender. Um, but I've heard mixed reactions as to whether the timeline's realistic. All right.